But yeah, man. This this new chain feels way better than the factory one because the factory was on one was on there for like seven years. This is a 2017. It's 2024. So yeah, seven years. And the O-rings were like breaking and snapping. So yeah, time for a new one. It wasn't that hard to do. Just a little tedious with riveting because you gotta get the you have to get it riveted out to like a certain millimeter diameter but I mean it wasn't too difficult but yeah today's quote of the day is tomorrow is never that's quote of the day tomorrow is never what I mean by that is that when you say you're gonna start something and you say oh I'll do it tomorrow that realistically means that you're never gonna do it because if you say oh, I'll do it tomorrow I can't today I'll do it tomorrow and tomorrow's gonna come and then you're gonna be like oh well, I'll do it tomorrow I can't today and that's just gonna continue like repeat over and over and over again and you're never gonna get it done so the best time to start something is now, today. Because then you'll actually do it. If you always wait till tomorrow, tomorrow will never come. Don't make that mistake of waiting till tomorrow. Because then tomorrow is just not ever going to come, bro. If you have a good idea, fucking work on it, bro. Quote of the day is out of the way. Oh, hell no, we are not rhyming. And now, we're gonna have a jolly old time on the road. I was just filming some rollers with my friend and his dad. His dad is cool. But his dad was driving us, <laughs> or his dad was driving my friend on a, in his truck and my friend was in the bed of the truck. It was fucking, yeah. It was so, <laughs> so funny because my friend was just like waving to random people <laughs> he was just like waving to people in the back of the truck and they looked so confused it was funny but there was also this event that happened when we were doing that that our friend's dad pulled over i was like why is he pulling over because it was just on the side of the road and i pulled over behind him and then a fucking, a fucking motorcycle cop drove past us he didn't give a shit somehow because I'm pretty sure it's illegal to just be in the back of a truck. But, yeah, that was kind of sketch and a little scary. Because that guy literally, he just like spawned in out of nowhere. I did not see him. I'm going to go cruise. I don't know where I want to go today, actually. I was going to go, yesterday I had to get, go get my haircut, which I thought it was tomorrow on Thursday, but it's on Tuesday. I fucking missed my appointment and I felt so bad, but the girl that I go to, the lady that I go to, she's really nice. I've been going to her for like f five years probably now, and she's like a family friend, like, we know her, and I was like, oh, I'll pay for the appointment, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, like, I thought it was on Thursday, not Tuesday, and she's like, no, it's okay, shit happens, don't worry about it. And that was when I was going to go wash my bike on Thursday, because the haircut place is right next to like this self-serve place that's like really nice. I think it has a lot of stuff. Oh, the fire department's coming. Here, I'm gonna hop up out their way. Just sit over here. Uh, why is this guy gonna go and block the fire truck? Thanks, bro. Oh, bro's getting on the highway. But, yeah, no, the streetlights always like beep, they go, Row! like they like bark at you a little bit. I guess we can go on the highway for a little bit today. It's pretty warm again today. It's getting warm now. Summer is here. It's time for hell on earth to grace Las Vegas. Yeah, dude, this chain feels so good. I love it. It feels so much smoother than the than the factory one did. It like it 
it, it's like responsive, but it's not sluggish. Because the old one, well, obviously, but, but the old one was like sluggish. It, 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 it wasn't like that bad slack. It was at like 40 millimeters of slack. I put this one at like 32, I think. So a little tighter. So it's, uh, it's more like responsive. But that also would make it more like jerky because it's tighter, but it will, it, maybe, I don't know. The older, the other one was like sagging a little bit. And I had that motherfucker almost maxed out the, the chain adjusters. So that, it was getting too saggy and the O-rings were like tearing off. I had to get a new one. But yeah, no, I went with black sprockets. Well, the front sprocket doesn't matter because you can't see it's covered up. But the rear sprocket is a Vortex stainless steel black sprocket and 45 tooth, like I said in the beginning. And it looks super clean with the black chain, or I mean with the gold chain and the black bike. It just, it really puts it together more than the silver did. Because everything, the sprocket and the chain was silver from the factory. So it just looks cleaner than the stock factory does. But, yeah, no, it looks really nice. And it feels, it feels amazing. I did, I did already like lube it up, but I'm gonna lube it up again. Uh, after this ride. Oh, what is this guy doing, right? Uh, after that chain is like warm, I'm gonna lube it up again. definitely well worth it. I had to go get some bigger sockets because I didn't have the front sprocket nut is a 30 millimeter and then the rear axle is a 32. I didn't have any of those. I didn't have any so I had to go get some yesterday. So it took a little longer than I thought it would but that's just because I had to go get some parts. But you know it wasn't that hard and I have like a I'm not gonna say a mechanic background but I uh, I used to have, well I still have it, I just haven't been working on it, but in high school I were, I had a uh, 1972 Mustang Mach 1, and it didn't run, it was like a, basically it had all the engine and like interior and stuff, but it had just been sitting for like 20 years, and I worked on that thing for like a year in high school, so I'm pretty comfortable with like mechanic shit, like using my hands and stuff, and like working on machines. So it wasn't like difficult. It was pretty simple. All I had to do was like remove the front sprocket. Um, remove the front sprocket, remove the rear sprocket off the wheel, cut the chain. Well, okay, some people angle grind it, like the pin. I just pushed it through and it pushed through just fine. I didn't have to angle grind it. But yeah, and then you just take the old chain out the new sprockets on, put the rear wheel back on, which is a pain in the ass, because I didn't know how to do it. I had to like watch YouTube video on how to get the brake caliper back on, because holy shit, that was difficult. Doing it by myself, it was like really not easy at all. Where is this guy going? Left, right, left, right. But did that, and then put the rear wheel back on. Run that, ran the chain through. Put the master link on, riveted it, and then I adjusted the sag, the chain tension, and then it was done. It was not that difficult. Pretty easy. But if you're not, if you haven't ever worked on like a car or anything, it'd probably be kind of intimidating. But yeah, no, it wasn't too bad. It was fun. I liked it. It feels so much better. Definitely worth it to put the new chain on because god damn it feels so smooth, bro. It th This bike feels like a completely different motorcycle now because of that new chain.
bit right there. Damn, yo, I got a little excited because the walls are echoing the sound of the bike. That shit sounded way bien. Shit got me excited. Bike is sounding very good right now. New chain feeling good. Oh, there's two riders over there. I do wanna, I wanna like start riding with people, bro. Riding is fun, but like riding with people would be even fun, more, even funner. <laughs> I did, I did see this one kid. I wasn't recording. Well, he wasn't a kid, but this one dude that was probably like my age, like younger, and he was on a R3 that he just bought from the dealership. I was like, bro, how long have you been riding? He's like, I just got it today. I was like, damn, bro, that's dope. He didn't even look like that nervous or anything. Like, he looked like he was like flowing with the bike. It was so sick. That's pretty much the only person I've run into so far. And that was like a couple days ago. I'm sure I'll find some people. The only thing is that there's like a bunch of people here who are like stunters. The stunt scene in Vegas is huge and I don't, I'm not really into stunting, bro. I just like riding. Lord, I got kind of walking a little zesty. I ain't gonna hold you. Mopeds are still two wheels, bro. I'll still wait to a moped. Quick shift around this bike sounds so crazy. It sounds gnarly, bro. I also had to take off the quick shifter and it I put it on like too tall the like my shifter pedal so I've been hitting some neutrals bro I have to get used to it I don't I kind of like it better though I'm not gonna lie it feels like it's smoother so I kind of like it more but I have to get used to it so I've been hitting a couple neutrals because I'm not used to it and I'm not it's like it's up higher than it was before so I'm not pushing it as hard Bro, Shakira's hitting right now. Shakira, Shakira. Oh, hell no, bro. SF90. That thing looks clean, bro. That thing is nice. I love the rear window that's like plastic and not glass. That like race-esque rear window. That shit is clean. R6 or SF90? Probably, probably, probably R, probably SF90 actually. That thing is fucking crazy. 
I don't even know if it's the FS90. It just kind of looks like one. I don't think it is. It might just be like the new pistas. I don't really follow Ferrari that much. Oh fuck, I forgot there's like hella traffic over here. Oh hell no. like to one lane but it might not be that bad right now because it's like in the middle of the day I'm probably just gonna cut this shit out of the video because it's just gonna be boring as hell I need to open up, open up the legs, get some airflow up in this motherfucker. Uh, I want to send to one song in my place, but I can't fucking find it, bruh. I'm like going through it, but I have like 70 songs on this playlist, which is not that many, but like I have a 1 out of 70 chance of finding the song. Aggressive ad lane change, what the fuck was that, bro? <laughs> There's a matter flow. so weird to ride like this. <laughs> I'm like full fucking extending my legs, bro. Oh, that felt good. That felt good, though, bro. I don't like doing that. I don't like letting off the throttle as soon as I shift up. I feel like that messes with the quick shifter. Bro, come on. I want to find this song, bro. Indeed, not the song. Hello? Who's this? Uh oh. Quiet ass song. I can't find this shit. One day I'll find the fucking song, bro. One of these clicks I'll find it. Oh my god, the guy looks like Joe Biden. Is it shuffle or no? I can't even tell. I don't remember though. That's definitely shuffle. Is it? Has to be. Dang, this is getting passionate on the phone. Go, bro, go. Bro, I cannot find the damn song. Yo. The fuck is the song at, bro? I should have went backwards, not forwards. Now that I think about it. If I went backwards, I would have been able to find when I heard it. Bro, by the time I want to, I like find the song, I'm not even going to want to listen to it anymore. <laughs> 
Nah, I'm, I, I'm working this hard to find out. I'm listening to this song, bro. Bro's pulling out into traffic. I'm gonna find out one day, I'm gonna find out one day, I'm gonna find out one day. Throttle got a little too excited there. How have I not managed to hit it by now? Actually. Well, I still haven't found the fucking song. Maybe I'll find it, but I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, show some love, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.